hear your voice acting work because I have just about every single game. Okay, let me tell you a story. So I've got these nephews, right? And they're 16 and 18. I've been on TV since 1980. I've been in some pretty damn good movies, right? Nothing ever. They've never said, this is my aunt. Cece, she's an actor. Never do they even know what I do for a living. They did no interest, never Google me. Well, they did Google me. They tried to play with me. But <laughs> that was awkward. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Yeah, I had to. I had to explain that, that Aunt Cece was not doing that well back here in the so. Uh, anyway, so I'm, I'm, it's like a Halloween or something, and I. They never call me, they never nothing. The phone rings and it says Max Coddle. I'm like, that's my nephew, what the hell? She's, she's, oh my God. Holy shit. I'm playing Skyrim and I just killed you. <laughs> I, you didn't even tell me you were in it. I was like, I don't even know what Skyrim is, dude. It's like, you go in a booth and you do it. I don't know what the name of the project is. Hide the name. Sure. When I did Grand Theft Auto, they called it something else, and I had my name taken off because I had to say the C word, and I was like, what? No, 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 you didn't have kids see that. Anyway, so then he goes, you know, it's really sick. I said, what? He goes, I almost tried to marry you. That is so wrong. You're the huntress, too. She's hot. <laughs> Skyrim. Yep. So I'm now a, uh, well, I have, I have a modicum, a, a soupçon of coolness now. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go too far to say, you know, but yeah, they were first. <laughs> oh, I love those things. I did the bonus material for Skyrim too. So I got to play a vampire or a sexy vampire or something. I just did, uh, I think it was Diablo 3 where I played a empress or something. This is the thing, because I do, I, I do so many British act, uh, roles, so they always get me to do, when, when you get hired for a, a day, like a couple hour thing, they have you do the main role. And then they, like in Guild Wars 2, I'm a massive role. I have a huge role. And then, but then they ask you to do little roles too, and little accents and stuff like that. So quite often someone will say, well, <laughs> I didn't know in Skyrim, to you, they didn't tell me to use other voices, so there's like six characters that sound like me. <laughs> without an accent, so that's a little weird. But, um, it's fun work. It's, it's easy and fun, and the people that direct you are usually really cool. So I like doing voice work. I did a D Disney film, too, in Atlanta. That was fun. I have your um, taboo CD, I was wondering if you, what inspired you to want to get, get into music, and are you ever considering doing any more music? Am I in a what? <coughs> Considering doing any more music? No, you listen, first of all, let me just say right here, I am not a singer. I, I have a crack voice, but I, I can do the sexy talk thing with you. I'm like very white. <laughs> a lot thinner and a little lighter. That's all. Um, no, I mean, I, I, I knew that I wasn't a great singer. Uh, I used to sing when I was a kid, but I knew that, you know, I'm not trained or anything. But I love to write music. And so, um, Taboo came around because I had a lawyer at the time, a lawyer friend, and he said, you know, all these actresses are making the CDs, you know, that was it. And he says, why do you put some music together? I thought, okay, well, I've got all this poetry I've been writing over the years, and I, I can, I'm good with putting music together. So Taboo came about, and I said, no, I want to, Braveheart was around, and then the Illin Pipe, the Illin Pipe uh, theme song. So I got the guy that played on Braveheart, played the theme song, to bring his Ilan pipe, Yulin, or however you pronounce it, U-I-L-L-E-N, pipe. Yulin. Yulin, Yulin pipe. And I got a coloratura singer from the opera, and I just, and I made this sexy dance stuff, and I put a lot of really raunchy French words in there. And it ended up playing in discos in France, so. And I said, don't pop stuff. Yeah, the funniest thing was I was in the car with my mother on Sunset Boulevard one day, and I had a convertible, the top was down, and you live, this is not, I swear to God, I mean, what are the chances of this? I think I, I maybe sold a thousand copies of that CD. Pulled up to the stoplight, and there's a guy rocking the taboo. He's like, he's every word, he's saying every word, and my mother looks at me and goes, that's a 
it's your song! <laughs> and it wasn't the radio, obviously, it was a CD. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. But, uh, you know, I'm not going to, uh, uh, you know you're shooting up my nose, Jenny. You do realize that. It's gotta be the most unflattering frame. It's gotta be the most unflattering angle. Do I have three chips or four? <laughs> okay, God bless you. Um, so no, I'm not gonna do anymore. I had a great time doing the B5 with, the, with our castmates. That was the hoot. You know, we, we all went in there and, and, and everybody, you know, we all had written some songs and, and the, we had really professional musicians. We had a great time recording that. And then I did the, uh, Holly produced my soli, solo album. Um, which we gave away about a hundred of them this weekend. Um, but no, I, I think I got that out of my system. I, I, you know, it, I'm one of those people that's a jack of all trades, master of only a couple things, you know? I think I'm a good actress and I'm a good cook. That's about it. Uh, so I have a guitar and a piano that I, I've been staring at for 25 years. <laughs> and I can noodle around, you know? I can pretend that I play, but I'm just, I've, I'm, I've, I've never had the discipline to actually take lessons, so. I should have done it when I was a kid. Bad girl! Bad boy! <laughs> <laughs>